Okay, time for me to do a little bragging. This right here was a big gaping hole. They have uh, uh, clean out tees behind it. And um, there's mice and bugs and shit coming in the house. So I got a little bit fancy and put a panel up there for. I did it mostly for me. I am going to paint it, color match it to this brick so it looks a little bit better. And um, I figure I probably have to prime that uh, raw steel first. But anyway, that's that's what I did there. And let me take you in the house, show you what else I did. Sorry, I don't have no way to edit this better than this, but anyway, here we go. Okay, now, when we first moved in, I bought a adjustable uh, shower rod and put it in here. Well, that, that failed. It didn't work. And then I got mad because it wouldn't work, and I couldn't get to go back in. So, anyway, it ended up in the yard. But what I did is I put in, took a pre-packaged kit, used their flange on this side. But as you can see, I got a window right there. So I took some one inch PVC and come up and clamped it to the wall up there using two, two hole electrical clamps. And I put a screw in it keep it from falling out of the clamps. Um, the only thing I should have done is I should have put a T here instead of a uh, elbow, a 90. But um, anyway, that's my junkyard project for today. Of course, we all, uh, I also have outside spigot now. Um, I think I showed this already, but um, just by turning it on the shire and um, found out you didn't have to turn that valve on and off. And you can hook up a regular garden hose to it. And you got an outside spigot. Um, what, what surprises me is when you use the nozzle, it doesn't turn the shire head all the way off. Uh, so anyway, uh, probably wouldn't work if you was in California where you have a severe drought. Sorry guys. But, um, when you live in the ghetto, you can't expect to fix it like a mansion, right? So, peace.